What is going on YouTube? Today, I got something that's hopefully spicy. It probably won't be, but it's intended to be spicy. I wasn't gonna get something else, a soup, if you will, but I need something particular for it, like something very specific to eat with it. I didn't wanna leave my house to go get it. So I'll just get it next time, because next time I leave my house, I'll just go pick up what I need, and then I'll have the soup, so it'll be good. But for now, I just got pepper shrimp, but I didn't get it from my coconut breeze or anything else. I got it from somewhere else, Blue Colada. I got it from Blue Colada. There's a place here called Blue Colada. It's like a restaurant bar type thing i guess i guess i think it's pretty popular here because i always see people talking about it or like it i've heard it been mentioned to me before i just oh uh, this flew everywhere they gave me pepper sauce but they gave it to me upside down now it's leaking but uh yeah i heard it been mentioned before i just never went out and got it until now so now we're here with it with some pepper shrimp and this is heavy it's got some weight to it which means they probably gave a lot of food so let's take a look at it here and not as much as I thought. Coconut Breeze gave more, but it's like a it's like a fried rice type thing going on there. See that? Looks pretty good. Mm, yeah, no, some of it just fell when I was like tilting it over, but it's okay. It's all right. Before we get started, guys, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anything you want to try anything to talk about. I'm down to this. We'll check out timestamps down below. Let's go first bite. Let's try the shrimp first here. Oh yeah. That's good. It's even got, dare I say, a little kick to it. That's pretty good, actually. I like the fried rice as well. Mmm. This is hot. That's a pretty good seasoning to it, too. Do I like it more than Coconut Breeze's, uh... Fried rice, uh, pepper shrimp fried rice. I don't think so. Two reasons, one, it was bigger. Like it was, like the shrimp, I, from what I remember, was just bigger and they give you more. Or, oh, I see it could be the same amount, but since it's bigger, you by default get more anyways, even if it is the same amount of like shrimp, you know, quantity wise. Mm -hmm. But anyways, how's your guys day today? Today's a lazy day for me. I do not want to leave my house. That's why I ordered this food here. That's why I didn't do the soup to go get the, to go get the other ingredient I needed for the soup. I'm just staying home today. Every day for my vacation, I've been like going out and do something. So I feel like, and I'm getting a bit sick. At least I felt like I was getting a bit sick yesterday. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just like stay inside today. And you know, it's a good thing I did because I'm feeling a bit better, you know? Yeah. But I do have a topic in mind. And something that really frustrates me. Like just really frustrates me. But... I'm sure there's certain aspects about the situation that maybe I just don't understand and that's why it frustrates me, but a few years ago, I'd say maybe two or three years ago, um, I don't think the people from the States, like maybe you're from the States will remember this or will know this, but here, um, at, I think it was Kipling Station or Kiel Station, one of the stations, I believe it was Kipling Station, like the subway station, there was a guy who set a lady on fire yeah, that's that's not an exaggeration. He like took out like flammable liquid, threw it on her, lit it, and burned her alive in the station in the middle of the day. About a bunch of people. I was at work, and I remember hearing about it like uh, like like what right after it happened because it like went to the news and people were like talking about it when they came because a lot of people from my workplace at the time like took Kipling Station. So I'm hearing this. I'm like, well, this guy burned this lady alive. She went to the hospital, was in critical condition. He went and he got like taken into custody. And then she later on eventually died. Now you would think that this is like an open and shut case. But what I'm hearing or what I just saw yesterday blew my mind. But when I tell you it doesn't surprise me because of the Canadian legal system, it doesn't surprise me. So he was found, I don't know if he was found not guilty.
but I'm pretty sure he was found not guilty of it, but not guilty as in the sense that like he has to walk free from it. But it was like one of those things where he pled insanity or they plead insanity and he's like not in the right state of mind. So there's like, we can't put him into jail because he wasn't in the right state of mind to do this because if he was in the right state of mind, he wouldn't have done it, right? So I think he said he was like under, he was like delusional under his delusion that like, there's like some Tibetan spy or something. He went up to the lady and asked her if she was Tibetan and then he lit her on fire when she said yes. So apparently like after the trial and all that stuff, he's not gonna walk free, but he's gonna go to an asylum, right? Or somewhere like a hospital where they'll look after him and he'll be under supervision with privileges if he has any privileges. But here's the thing. From what I realized is that you, they will have privileges and eventually they'll just be able to walk free because I don't know if you guys remember, what was it 2013, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, the Greyhound uh, incident. Uh, so for those who don't know, there's an incident on the Greyhound. Greyhound used to be a bus here that like, would go long distances. Like you could take the Greyhound from like here to Niagara or whatever, right? This guy went on the bus and like started like he had a knife. He just started like you know poking a guy and then eventually he like you know like literally took it straight off straight off of his body and was like holding it up for people to see he was the only one on the bus and everyone else was outside the bus and he was like holding it up and i think he said that like god told him to do it or also world today and i don't know something something some, some, something like that right so that guy was taken to custody, put into a hospital, given privileges, and then eventually released with a new name. So that guy who literally, someone on a Greyhound bus is walking free, out in the open, different name, no one knows who he is. Because they're just like, oh, he's not, he's not a threat to society anymore. But how can you really determine that? Like, I'm sure for the 30 something years of his life, he was that people didn't really think he was a threat. Maybe some people did, but for the most part, people didn't think he was a threat of society. He happens to do it again. Then what do you do? Be like, oh, oops. Oh, well, like we you tell that to the family. Oh, we thought he wasn't a threat of society anymore when he did it before. Like, and with this guy at Kipley Station, all, the only thing I'm seeing his lawyer say is that he feels really, really bad about it. You feel really, really bad about it, please. Sure, you don't wanna put him in jail or anything like that. And they put him in the hospital with supervised walks outside. That's it. That's really it. Because who's to say that he doesn't do it again, right? You put him on medication, you let him walk free for the rest of his life. Who's to say that he won't just stop taking medication and just do it again? No one. Literally no one, right? Because if you have the mental problems to do that one time, like who's to say that you won't do it again? It's just, it's just scary to know that like that happened and then the people who did that like walk free. Like even though like, okay, fine. Say he doesn't do it again, right? That's still scary. That's still scary. Like if I knew someone did that and I was like staying beside him or talking to them, I'd be afraid, right? Say he gets into a relationship with someone, right? And then he, the lady later, later figures out that this guy burned like someone alive. It's, it's insane. And that's like, that's not the, the, I mean that also Carlo Homoka, I'm pretty sure is like out here in like, is she in like Montreal or something? Different name, different everything. I don't know. I'm not the the arbiter. I, I can't tell whether someone has like performed or not, if they're a good dude or not. Again, I'm just saying. Even if someone is completely reformed and they would never do it again, it's scary to know that they're out there, right? Like they spent like what, a few years for your, for like essentially just ending someone's life. It's, it's, it's insane. Like it's actually, it's actually insane. And also, even though he was under the delusion, there's some form of what he did was premeditated. Cause why do you have like a, a canister of like flammable liquid and a lighter? I mean, for sure the lighter, but you had the, like you had plans of doing it because he had the liquid to do it on him. So even though he was, he's like under delusion, some form of it is premeditated. So it's like, man, 
is scary the legal system I just feel bad for the, the families If I was a family member, it's like, say my sister, like, got killed in a way like that. And then the murderer walks free after five years because of, like, he pled insanity. I'd feel like no justice was done. I'd feel like this the system didn't care and did me dirty. Like, I feel like there's, like, zero repercussions for that. Five years of your life for ending a whole life is such a way. I know it's a tough t situation because it deals with mental health, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Mm. So here's the final bite. All the shrimp's done. I'm not going to just sit here and eat rice. So here's the final bite. Hey, Jimmy. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, that was Blue Colada's uh, pepper shrimp. It was really good. Um, nice. I had a little bit of a kick to it. I had a little bit of a crunch to it. Would have been nicer if I had a bit more of a crunch, but I believe that's something that uh, Coconut Breeze had. Like their pepper shrimp had a bit more of a crunch too, but it's still pretty good. With that being said, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anyone trying to toe out. I'm down to do that, so I'll check out the inside. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that situation that I just mentioned with the uh, Kipling station, the lighting lady on fire, incense, and him being just like not found not guilty insanity let me know what you guys think about that because it's just a it's just a crazy story and it's just like a sad story it's just like all around from all angles like there's no other way to really explain it but yeah again thank you guys for watching blue colada pepper shrimp 7.5 out of 10 first review in peace